just coming to the last part of November 2023 in the last week uh, it's cold this morning cold enough to uh, have to wear a hat and a hood and a blanket four degrees apparently feels like one degrees according to my telephone so winter is here and of course our country and countries throughout the world are looking forward now to Christmas in the middle of the winter but the Christian people are just on the cusp of Advent. This Sunday, Advent begins, a time for us to prepare for the coming of the Christ. Once again, fresh in us. And so, the liturgy for this week, which uh, I've just come from morning prayer, sharing the liturgy with the group that meets every morning. Again, you, you're invited, you're welcome to, to join us whenever you like, and the details of how to do that are here on this page. So by way of uh, contemplation, I will offer you this liturgy now. Drawn from the readings for this coming Sunday, the first Sunday in Advent. Our liturgies each week for morning prayer are drawn from the coming Sunday. And this one is drawn from the readings from the Hebrew Bible, Isaiah chapter 64. We can see here part of Paul's first letter to the Corinthians chapter 1. And then from the Gospel, part of chapter 13 in Mark, which is the Gospel for this coming year. Advent is the turning of the Christian year. And so we have been using Matthew all, all year up until this point, and now we turn to Mark's Gospel. Before we share this liturgy, just let's take a moment to come to the present moment. Advent can be a time for looking at the attachments that we have. And so in seeing them, offer them back to Christ, who says, lay down your heavy burden, let go your attachment. Take my yoke, which is light, We begin with the Hebrew Bible reading. And just listen or, or follow. 
Oh, that you would tear open the heavens and come down, so that the mountains would quake at your presence, as when fire kindles brushwood and the fire causes water to boil, to make your name known to your adversaries, so that the nations might tremble at your presence. The holy lands are on fire. Chaos and evil are having their way. Is there not a remnant of faithfulness, a flicker of light, of hope? And Wales and her sisters lost their faith long, long ago, when empire's gods of reason and sense all but extinguished the spiritual flame in the hearts of tribespeople who once danced in these lands and worshipped in your name. Let the nations of me tremble once more at your presence as the remnant in me shakes her dusty limbs free. The testimony of Christ has been strengthened among you so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revealing of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will also strengthen you to the end. The testimony is strong and it moves in me, met by the Christ breath that breathes in me, a word, a phrase, nourished by spirit, takes root in the seed bed of my heart, teaching me patience, and the waiting of love for love, for love is love, is love. And we just come to the breath. Noticing the breath in us, in and out. No need to change anything here or take control. Simply observe the breath. Miracle, gift of God. In the breathing, we let go our attachments. Attachments to outcomes. All kinds of self-importance. Letting go, we are open to the spirit. Able to put ourselves in service to the spirit. And so St. Mark, in those days, after that suffering, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will be falling from heaven, 
and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the ends of the earth to the ends of heaven. However dark these days may seem, when the struggle forces of life grip and release, loose and entwine, the promise endures of the one who comes in clouds of unknowing, while the mantra of the morning unclips the thinking, buoys up the sinking, like selkies to the drowning, peace rescues me. So also when you see these things taking place, you know that he is near, at the very gates. Therefore keep awake, and what I say to you, I say to all, stay awake. Go to the gates, where wisdom sings her sweet, sweet songs, in the abstract sound of the mystic. Go into the sound, into the mystic, let go, all need to know, all false desire to take control. Go into the mystic, let silence grow, where the sound meets the silence, at the gates of here and now, stay awake, keep awake. Wait. There is plenty going on in Gower during Advent. You can find details on the Gower Ministry Area website. Keep in touch with us through Facebook. Thursday evenings, for example, in St. David's Church on the Marsh at 7 o'clock, there will be sessions of contemplative prayer. Christian meditation, you're very welcome. God bless you.